Hi, thanks for checking out Cobwebs and Cords. My name is Jan and I'm excited today to share with you my favorite teapot out of my whole collection. This one has a patent on it and I'm going to share with you what that patent is and the fact that this teapot dates back over a hundred years. I hope you're enjoying a nice cup of tea. I started out many years ago just collecting teacups and I thought I was just going to keep it to that. However, teapots quickly caught my eye and I just couldn't keep some of them out of my collection. So I started a teapot collection, but I wanted to make sure that I only put in teapots that I absolutely 100% love because teapots quickly can take up a lot of space. They're a bit larger than a teacup. A few years ago, my girlfriend and I were road tripping through Maine and we were checking out all the different antique shops. It was a great trip and we really enjoyed ourselves. There was one day, however, that we had a fair amount of driving to do, but it also turned out to be the time that we ran across so many wonderful antique shops. So we were trying to quickly run in and out of them and check them out. We ended up finding so many wonderful things in one particular shop, but for some reason I convinced myself that I should only get three pieces. So I picked three pieces and I walked away from a teapot that I just fell head over heels in love with. And then we drove away. Later that night in the hotel room, I couldn't stop thinking about the teapot. I actually called up the antique store and it was a larger antique store and it took them quite a while, but they did finally find the teapot for me. They were so great to work with and I very much appreciated that. And I bought it over the phone and they mailed it home to me. So it was a great present to come home to. It was this teapot. This teapot has everything I could ever want in a teapot. If there was ever a perfect match between a teapot and a girl, it's this teapot and me. Let me show you. The spout and the handle are ornate, but not over the top. The clean swoops and delicate curves. The top is clean and hefty, but everything is beautifully proportioned. The little touches, like the fine grooves on the edges. The bulbous round form. The fact that it's metal and granite ware, I love that combination. It has a dent in it, and I know what you're thinking, that I might wish that it wasn't there, but that's not true. I love it more because of the dent. I love that it has a history that it was used in everyday life. I can hold these pieces and it feels like the world stops for a moment. Inside, it still has the original filter. This just shook me. You can see the use and the little tear on one side. It's also enamelware inside. So just when I think that this teapot couldn't be any more perfect for me, I flip it over. On its bottom shows its simple maker's mark, Manning, Bowman and Company. Patented January 24th, 1899. 1899. 119 years old. Wow. At the time that this was patented, my great, great, great grandmother was alive. So for me, anything tea related that has a patent makes me all giddy inside. The fact that this teapot has a patent Amazing. Game changer. Part of the fun is actually tracking down the patent. In the past, I've actually had to contact librarians and kindly ask them to see if they could help me find the patent and track it down and then email me a copy. However, this one was quite simple. 
it's easily found on the US database of patents, so that was helpful. There is a PDF for this patent, and I'm always thrilled and excited to see the signatures and the drawings from the creators. I can quickly imagine this form being handed in and the interaction between the different people, and suddenly the world seems okay. When reading through this patent, there's a couple reasons why they invented it. You see, they wanted to be able to properly adhere a handle that would not radiate the heat from the hot tea onto the handle, making it very difficult to pour the hot tea. So you can see that the bottom of this handle is actually not even touching the actual bowl part of the teapot. The other reason why they wanted to be able to attach it with nuts and bolts was so that if you dented, which this one does have a big dent in, but if you damage the handle, then you could easily take the handle off, buy a replacement, and put that on. Pretty clever. This patent actually goes into detail about the actual connection part of it. So, very interesting. I'll leave the link down below if you do want to check that patent out. After having this teapot join my collection, I eventually found another Manning Bowman teapot with the detachable handle as well. Now this one's not enamelware, it's a little bit different. You can see, you can see how the ends are a little bit different. The actual handles are different, but they're very similar and they both have the same patent date on them. Now I've always thought that this one might have had something on it, but I'm not quite sure. I'd love to hear what your theory is on it. Leave me a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video and before we part and leave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I'd love for you to follow along. So hit the subscribe button. Oh, and yes, I do use my teapots. This here 119 year old teapot, the teapot that I love and adore, my prized possession out of my whole collection. Yes, it was used by friends and family during my last birthday. And I think it enjoyed it as much as I did. Until next time, take care.